A way out, bro. A way out. It's painful, bro. It's pain. The streets is painful. It's, it's, it's painful. It comes, being a real nigga come with a lot of pain. Pain, yeah. It come with a lot of yeah, a lot of disappointment. A lot of disappointment. It come with a lot, a lot of, of a lot of nights that's Trauma, not anxiety, right. It's, it's, see, see, you see, with social media, it's, it's it's fashionable to say you this. It's fashionable to say you that. It's cool to, to rap about this. It's cool to rap about that. But the, the truth of the matter is, those those days that I described to you, I would be here describing to you for hours and hours upon hours what it really felt like because it's it's a it's a loneliness. It's a it's a time of of it's it's just it's just bad. Some of those days, you understand, and it comes with being a real nigga. Yeah. And you gotta accept it. You gotta take it. You gotta accept the fact that you're in prison. And you ain't telling nobody. You gotta accept the fact that that you a stand up nigga. You gotta shoot, and then you know niggas are shooting back. You gotta take that. You right. gotta take the fact that we just lost some money. You gotta Why? take who, who all that. Who came up with that? It's just the it's just the code. The, 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 the moral code that we follow in an immoral world, mm. in an immoral world, in a savage world that we adapted to, and nobody gave us the rules and said, this is what you're supposed to do, but it was, you know what? Let me change that. They did give us the rules. They said, this is what we're supposed to do. The old, the old niggas told us, you can't be out here. You're going you're gonna to be with it. Be all the way with it. Right. If you got your feet in it, be stand up. You gotta, you gotta do time. Be the same nigga that you was. You was blowing your hammer in the street. When you go to jail, do the same thing. Dang. We don't want to hear about you getting your shit took. You was letting niggas smack you around and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. You better be about that same activity. Right. All right. So it's a painful existence because those couple of seconds of, you know, niggas like to tell these, these tales, right? Yeah. There's a lot of tales. There's a lot of tales. So a lot I said, of tales. He's like, yo, I cut this nigga, I shot this nigga. Right. Those are only seconds. What you, what you had to pay for that was either years. Those is longer. Mm -hmm. You shot these niggas, you cut it this did. nigga, you stabbed this nigga, whatever you done did. The police came, the CO came, you no, paid for you that. got for that? Right. right. So every nigga that I didn't did something to, most of the times, if I didn't get away with it, I paid for that. Mm. Months on months, years on years. Yes. Mm -hmm. What was those days like? Right. How hard was it for you when you decided, yo, I gotta chill? Cause you know they say niggas test you when your gun goes warm. You know what? Honestly. I never consciously said that, and I'm glad I didn't, because I felt like if I would lie to myself and say, oh, I'm not going to do this, and I'm not going to do that, at that point that I would, I would set myself up for some sort of failure. This is what I told, him, I told myself. I said, like, I got to be realistic. Right. And me being realistic, I was saying, listen, I got to do what I got to do. If a situation happens, I'm going to do what I got to do. And I kept that mentality. I had to because it was more realistic than believing that I was going to, oh, man, you know, I got I to gotta be positive and I can't live some type of life. It was, it was more realistic to me to believe that I had to still be the person that I was if I needed to be. Mm. And I had to in certain instances. Right. But you, but you found a, a nice little streak where you was like, okay, I ain't getting into trouble. I'm going home. Support. Oh, before, oh, before, before I got out. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to get out, man, nigga. Hell yeah, I wanted. I, yo, listen, you know what I used to say when I was in prison? I used to say, I ain't no jail, nigga. Mm. I'm I not a jail, that shit nigga. Right. Now. right. As, as long as I've been in prison, I am not one of these niggas. And it was three things that I, that I felt like if I became, then I was leaving my spirit in prison. If I became involved with homosexuality in prison, then I was leaving myself and my spirit in prison. 
if I became a drug addict in prison, then I was leaving my, prison, my, my spirit in prison. If I became a stool pigeon or rat in prison, then I would, would be leaving my spirit in prison. Where did you get that? I don't know, it came to me. And I stood silent, I stood, I don't know, like, I don't know, you know what I mean? I get it, maybe, maybe it was my mother, bless her soul. Maybe it was my father, bless his soul. I don't understand because I, 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 I I don't know. You don't know how strong you is until you put into situations. Mm -hmm. Until you don't have right. a choice. Until you don't have a choice but to be strong. It's either be weak or be strong. And I never try to make myself to be something more than what I... No doubt, my nigga. I never try to make myself be something more than I was, my nigga. You understand? Mm -hmm. I only adapted to yeah. what it was in front of me. Situation. Mm -hmm. Right? And you know, I don't. I don't know. Like I, I, I would be in a box, and I would ask myself, like, what I wanted to do and what life would be for me. And the most scariest thought that I would have was not knowing what I was going to do when I got out. Hmm. That was the scariest thought for me. You know, I felt like I could handle everything else. Like I handled the beef with other niggas. I can do, I've been doing I've been doing that pretty good for right. myself. Right. Mm -hmm. I can deal with that. But it's the unknown. It's the unknown that was very fearful. Very, very, very fearful for me. What was very. your fear? My fear was that I would become one of those brothers that revolved in the prison system. Mm. And just kept going back. My fear was that I would be that. My fear was that I would become, you know, one of those old niggas, and you'd be like, damn, OG. Did you know one of those niggas? Yeah. Many. They're all over the place. Many. <laughs> They're everywhere. Many. <laughs> Who was the one in particular that you were thinking about? Um, just, just many. Just in my travels. Like I said, I've been through over 10 different prisons, so it was always an old nigga, always a nigga. I had grades, and I would I would talk to him, and I would try to understand what his life was like when he was young. Right. Try to figure it out. And and most of those niggas had been in prison, in and out of prison, for for most of their lives. And I didn't want to be that. I wanted to give myself a chance. I wanted to do something. I wanted to at least try because I felt this is what I really felt like. And this is what I and this is how I would convince my niggas to give us a chance. I said, listen. Let's try the music thing. Nigga, if it fell, we still got the streets. We, we know how to do that. Right. right. If, it, if it fails, we definitely got that. We know how to do that. If we can't do nothing else, we can do that. But if it wins. <laughs> Nigga, we winning. Change our life. Mm -hmm. Nigga, we winning. You did the impossible. Yeah, we done, we done what niggas couldn't. We done what, what they said we couldn't. We, we done what they, th what, what they thought we couldn't. You know? This hot fuck, trap trapper turned smack rapper. Only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars, I can hang with the backpackers. Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers. I'm in the hood with the work you heard. Making fiends leave earth you heard. Got your baby mama thirst you heard. Feel the flow, nigga, throw it